Yeah, so welcome to the series where I show you some of my fossil finds and the stories behind them. So, um, I don't find much bone. I don't know why, I just don't have the eye for it. I really don't find a lot of bone on the Yorkshire coast. I think mainly it's because I've I'm not looking for it. Um, and it's the same with jet as well. So I've got a few pieces of jet, but unless it actually jumps out at me, I never see it. And I know this happens because I've met up with a, a friend who I meet, who I see quite often on the beach, um, called Paul, who um, will probably follow me and pick up all the jet that I've missed. And I would probably follow him and find all the ammonites. And it's just the way it works. But every now and then I do find a little bit of bone. And this is a lovely little bone block. So yeah, some lovely ichthysaur vertebrae. I actually found this at Horska when uh, a couple of good friends came up, Kevin and Theo, to do the Yorkshire coast. And um, it was quite an eventful day actually because uh, there was quite a bit of swell and I, I kind of misjudged it a little bit. Got down a little bit too early as I am wont to do. Uh, but that, that sea just wasn't going out at all. Um, but yeah, in one of the slips. Lovely little reward in some ichthyosaur vertebrae. So yeah, one of the few pieces of bone in my collection. I'm sure I'll find more as time goes on. But um, yeah, I just, I just don't look for it, I think. So <laughs> I like ammonites better. It's the way it is. So yeah, some people have some fantastic bone bits and yeah, I yeah, just genuinely just don't look for it. So yeah, nice to have a few bits in though. And um, yeah, good memories of the day. It was uh, certainly eventful uh, with loss of glasses and all sorts of things going on. Uh, but we all survived and all found a few bits. <laughs>